Day 78 on the Hanamichi, and it was only last Sunday when the news came out about Roichi Sakamoto's death. So this week, as a way of celebrating his life and paying tribute, I've shared a song and a word each day. So on Monday, I shared the song Garden from Rauchi Sakamoto's album Async, and my word that day was Garden. On Tuesday, I shared the song Behind the Mask by Yellow Magic Orchestra, and my word was the Japanese word Ikigai, life purpose, reason for being. On Wednesday, the song was Life Life, again from the album Async, and my word was romantic. Um, that sprung from an interview I'd uh, watched, which uh, featured Raichi Sakamoto talking about how, as a child studying music, he, you know, passionately studied all of the great composers, you know, Chopin, Debussy, um, Beethoven, Bach, you know, the, the whole plethora, but he'd skipped out 100 years and basically he'd skipped the Romantic era. <laughs> um, that video is there and in, in the video I've put a link to that interview, but I thought that was really interesting to hear that and I really wish I could um, could understand why, like what his thought process was about that. So um, yeah. Anyway, that was um, that was Wednesday. On Thursday, the song was Full Moon from Async, and I did a dance in, um, in a secretive location in London. I'm not going to share, but if you know, you know. Um, and so, yeah, the song was Full Moon from Async, and the word, I guess, was moon. And Friday, uh, the song I shared was Tokyo Story, and my word was film, I had also discovered this week how Raichi Sakamoto revered the Japanese director Yasujiro Ozu and he absolutely loved Ozu's films but did not like the music in his films and uh, came up with the idea of uh, re-scoring every single one of Yasujiro Ozu's films and uh, Toru Takumitsu, the great Japanese composer, liked Raichi Sakamoto's idea and basically they had agreed to do the rescoring of all of Yasujiro Ozu's songs, but uh, Toru Takumitsu died and so that was never completed. So that was Friday. On Saturday, yesterday, I discovered a really beautiful song and I'd never before heard called Das Neue Japanische Elektronische Volkslied, the new Japanese electronic people's song, um, 1978. And my word was craftwork because I'd discovered, although I'd kind of known or would expect this to have been the case, I discovered that um, Raichi Sakamoto um, just really, really, really loved Kraftwerk and um, Kraftwerk first performed in Japan in 1981 and um, the three boys from the Yellow Magic Orchestra uh, went to to see them perform and uh, yeah, so um, that was yesterday. And so today is the last day of this week-long tribute of Raichi Sakamoto and I've got one more song and one more word left in the tank. And I've decided to share the song Forbidden Colours, which came out in 1983, featuring vocals by David Sylvian. Uh, This was their first song, sorry, second song together, their first song, first collaboration being the song Bamboo Houses. And uh, so this song is four minutes and 42 seconds long. And... That means I've got 4 minutes and 42 seconds to talk a bit about this word that I've come up with for today and the song and any thoughts left about Raichi Sakamoto to sum up this week. Starting the timer, 3, 2, 1, here we go. So, my word for today is craft and I... I think it follows on quite nicely from yesterday because my word for then was craft work. 
So um, today's craft. And I think when I, you know, when I, when I think about Raichi Sakamoto's life, when I think about his work and I've been um, listening to his songs a lot over the years and especially this week, I've been, you know, really challenging myself to discover uh, songs that I've never heard before. I, I realized just how Raichi Sakamoto's life is like a musical encyclopedia in some ways. I mean, his styles are just so adventurous and eclectic. He creates music in synth pop, ambient music, jazz, classical music, world music, um, experimental music, film music. There seems to be no kind of end or no... Um, no barrier to to where he wants to create music or what what styles he wants to operate in and so when i think about this word craft i guess the kind of definition of craft is also very much to do with work making things by hand you know it's a an activity involving skill in making things by hand and the fact that raichi sakamoto plays a lot of his own music um, plays a lot of very different instruments and also it just seemed to be one of those artists that you know really needed to be um, involved in every step of the production and, and, and creative process you know he wasn't just content with you know simply composing songs and and letting other people take charge of the rest of it you know he really was manning the ship from the conception to the the album titles the song titles to the instruments the composition arrangement performing it you know that's craft that's real you know beginning middle and end seeing something through and um and you know, I think that is uh, a trademark of 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 Japanese um, artists and pr practitioners. I would say, of obviously not just Japanese artists and practitioners, but I think it seems to be a, a you know a kind of a, a trait that does that does stand out. And I think um, Raichi Sakamoto is a fantastic example of just taking a craft to its absolute. Um, you know, as as far as it possibly can go. So that stuck out to me. Um, things I've learnt this week in terms of Raichi Sakamoto, I guess I've just mentioned that one before about him skipping the Romantic era as a child. You know, of course, these things all have their context and, you know, maybe at the teenage, um, you know, as, as a 17-year-old kind of teenager learning, maybe the idea of, you know, romantic music didn't necessarily seem as as cool and as um as kind of modern you know as as other s type so you know i can understand why maybe he just didn't see the 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 full potential in that um something that i learned this week and it's yeah um basically raichi sakamoto and David Bowie lived in the same city for a long period of time, New York, same part of New York, downtown Manhattan. And Raichi Sakamoto admitted in, a, in an interview, if you want to, uh, the link to the full interview, just message me, where he says he bitterly regrets basically not making more of an effort to contact David Bowie to just arrange to meet up and talk. And in the end, they... Um, because David Bowie kept news about his cancer, you know, very, very, very concealed. So, you know, no one really knew. There's the timer. I'm just going to finish this point. Um, so no one knew about David Bowie's illness. And so, you know, basically it was just a complete shock to Raichi Sakamoto that then David, uh, David Bowie had passed away and it was suddenly like, oh my gosh. Um, the chances just slipped by and 
you know it's just how did i how did i not <laughs> how did i not kind of make more or why did i not make more of an effort to um you know to to meet up with him and speak to him um so you know it's this human life and although we kind of you know he's a Roshi Sakamoto is a huge star and you know huge name and um loved all, all all the world over you know in the end of the day he's a human being and and susceptible to feelings of you know regret and um and yeah really really tough even just watching that and and you could see it how much he just really really so um yeah just couldn't full of full of regret that he just didn't make that connection um but yeah the last thing i'll say just to wrap this up i mean what what an unbelievable unbelievably incredible gift he's left the world with um that even though he's no longer alive he's left us with this music um this rich 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 body of 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 music from many different styles and um and what a what a uh, phenomenal thing art is that even when one is no longer living the work that you've created in your lifetime will will always remain and yeah it's just a very special thing so as i said the song of today is forbidden colors david sylvia 1983 it's one of my favorite raichi sakamoto songs of all time incredibly beautiful um and I thought the perfect way to end this week long tribute to the master of arrangement, composition and production, Raichi Sakamoto. Rest in peace. Millions are willing to give